welcome to the London 2012 Athletes Village. Daily Telegraph is going to take you on a guided tour of the most intimate parts of where the athletes are going to be staying. This is the accommodation block in the London 2012 Athletes Village. I'm just walking down the hallway about to go into my room, room 23. I haven't been in here. I've just opened the door. Here it is, 23. Now let's see when we go in what is confronting us. Slightly to my left there's a small TV screen on a stand with a couple of chairs. I'm just wondering if this is a reception room. If so it's pretty small. I <laughs> don't know how many athletes will, will fit in here. It says four chairs but hmm, we'll see. Here's the bedroom of the accommodation which houses two of the athletes and we can see one of the beds and then panning across we see the other bed. It's fairly small, there's a wardrobe as well and this uh, one also has a clothes rack to hang and dry some clothes. The beds are interesting because they have hollow spaces underneath for people to put their luggage. It's the bathroom of the Athletes Village, some nice marble tiles, big window of course, And toilet. This is the athletes dining hall where every cuisine imaginable has been made available including halal foods. And this is the dining hall of the athletes village. What do you think of it? It's fantastic. I thought Beijing was pretty amazing, but this is just fantastic. I think hey, the size of it, but also it's so nice and light, and just so close to the village. So um, you can imagine 11,000 athletes coming through here. It's going to be fantastic. So just again, well done to Lokon. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So overall, I had a great night's sleep. I think the athletes will be totally fine in these rooms. They're comfy, they're clean. Two to a room will be a little bit crowded at times, but hey, this is the Olympics.